Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zentangle Teacher. And little housekeeping things before we go any further is subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button below and then hit the bell and then you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. And today's video is again by um, Sandy um, Bartholomew and it's skein and I did skein here on this bookmark it's kind of weird a little weird and then I did it here on a tile which I thought looked more like smocking and so I am going to um, do skein I couldn't decide shall I do it on a a bookmark I have lots of uses for bookmark because I've been reading a lot so I may do it on a bookmark just because I have it and it's fun and we're gonna do skein we're going to start on our bookmark and um, I'm going to start kind of in the center and I'm going to do a wavy line. And now I'm going to mimic that line going in where I went in and out where I went out all the way down. Then I'm going to do another one doing the same thing. So it goes out and then in, then out. So I have it all the way down my tile. So I have, depending on how you look, I have one, two, three, four lines and you could um, well, we're just going to leave it at four lines. Now that we have our lines, we're going to come in here and you can make, I'm going to do what Sandy did. She did a little point. On this one I did round. Here I'm going to do just a, a little point. I don't know what you call that. I'm like struggling to figure out. What do you call that? Usually when I do this, I have a class prior to and we discuss what we might call those things. A bracket, a pointy bracket. In every one of the narrow little spots, I have done a little bracket. I should come back out a little. So I've done a little bracket in each one of those. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to echo that little bracket. And I'm echoing or oroing on the inside of that little bracket. Unless it's too small. And then I may come back and echo on the outside. Depending on how this one I'm going to do it a third time and it's going to be a little diamond and I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to do a diamond and I'm going to fill in that little diamond. So I have a little diamond in there that's blackened in. Because I like drama and when you put dark against a light surface you get drama. And this one, I'm going to put a bracket out here and I'm going to fill that one in because it was already pretty close. And that's where I say there's no mistake in Zentangle, only an opportunity. I'm going to do the same thing here. So now I have all of those um, with little brackets in between. And now I'm going to aura this and I'm going to aura on the inside. I've been doing a lot of or 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 e. <laughs> always have a hard time saying plural of aura. And I aura that here. And now I'm going to skip 
this one right here and I'm going to come to this outside one here and aura it. It gives the effect that this middle one is already aura but it's really not. And um, now I'm going to come and I'm going to make some just kind of lines out and I kind of like a takeoff. Ew, and I'll bet I could put one more right there and I'm gonna so I kind of lift my pen as I stroke out. It gives that tip a, a kind of a light diminishing look. And I think that's where it gives it that look of fabric that's been smocked, a little smocking. And now I want to just add something on my bookmark. And so my class would scream, Melinda, do your circles. So I am going to add circles along this edge. And I love adding different sizes of circles to things. I really think it gives it a variety of look. And now I'm going to come back, and I did this on one other bookmark, where I fill in that little crack, that little background between the circles. So that's they touch. And I'm just going to fill that in. And I think that really anchors that tangle to the to the design. You can see how that really eh, comparative how it anchors it down. And there we have it. Now I'm going to do it along this other side. But before I do, I'm going to finish this one side. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to aura because I am, you know, when Maria says, when you don't know what to do next, you can aura something. And adding auras really enhance a tango. And it's a simple way of adding something to your tango. And then I'm going to take I um, shade my pencil and we're going to do a little shading. And I'm just going to shade right here in that little pucker where that skein has been. Come in here and blend that out so you can see what that does to versus not being um, shaded. It's so important to do the shading. And I might just come in here and add a little, let's see if my gold jelly roll is going to work today. Sometimes you have to shake these up and to get them going. It doesn't look like this one wants to work today. It needs heated up and I'm not, I don't have time to heat it up. We've had some cool weather here for April. And um, but there we go. I could go ahead and finish this and um, do some different shading on that. And why don't I go ahead and do that? I'll just add. And there we have skiing or as I call it smocking and I was warming up my jelly roll to see if I could get it to work. There we go. So we can come in here and put some gold in here. Sometimes it takes them a little while to get started but this would be a great one for just some gold down these lips. And on the metallic jelly rolls, they tend to separate the ink and the and the 
glitter tend to separate and so I I was shaking it after I warmed it up I give it a good shake and it helps it start to flow again but you can see it's flowing now and giving us a little that little metallic sparkle and just to kind of hook these together I'm going to put a little bit of gold right in that black diamond area. I have to be careful not to touch the other um, um, jelly roll that I just laid down. But there we have our skein tangle. And I thought it was lots of fun. Thank you, Sandy, for this great tangle. And don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thanks again and have a great day.